the special aid to the member of parliament for Dome Kwabenya, Nana Dubin Kwapon, has described as unnecessary the call for a by election in the Dome Kwabenya constituency. He said the member of parliament is not in any way reneging on her duty as member of parliament for the area, but is out there on health grounds and will soon be back to continue her duty. According to him, he is reliably informed that the call for a by-election is being orchestrated by members of the new patriotic party who are opposed to Madame Ajoa Safo. At the moment, um, she is currently in the United States of America. Um, as you are aware, um, sometime last year, um, she sought for a leave of absence uh, from the President, His Excellency Nanado Dankwa Ekufuadu, to deal with a few personal issues. I have heard um, the whole idea of uh, a by-election. Uh, even yesterday I had one of the executives, uh, the NDC executives in the constituency calling me, informing me that uh, members of my own party uh, came to meet them to push a certain agenda for uh, a by-election in this constituency. Um, it's part of the thorny issues, uh, the politics that is going on in this constituency. Um, and I, I would say it's an agenda from the Oquays. I wouldn't mince words to be very honest. Yes, because um, the junior Oquay he feels uh, Honorable's absence as a stance is something that he can ride on uh, to push himself to become member of parliament of this constituency. But then it is not um, something that the constituents in its entirety um, you know, support, but it is the politics that is done and then people wanting to take some, you know, undue advantage, political expediency of the absence. It will interest you to know that in the very recent polling station elections that we did, regardless of her absence, there was still so much interest uh, from the people because I can tell you that the party skewed the process against her. But even though she's not around, the people who have so much confidence and trust in her have fought, are fighting, and ensuring that the right things are done. She hasn't told me what her decisions are. But from the little that I have witnessed on the ground, it tells me that the people of Dome Kwabenya, trust me, are not tired of Honorable Sarah Wasafu. And should she make up her mind to contest again, and Junior or whoever decides to come, she will beat them and then be the candidate for the new patriotic party. On the MP's referral to the Privileges Committee of Parliament, the Executive Director of Parliamentary Network Africa, Sami Oben, believes the situation is indeed a test case to let members of Parliament know that there are consequences if one does not show up in Parliament, and that will make them set up. Representation is a very, very important issue um, so far as, you know, our democracy is concerned. The people of Ghana need to be represented uh, in the legislative branch to ensure that the laws that are made, to ensure that the oversight of the executive branch of government, you know, are all done with every Ghanaian's interest being represented. And who represents our interest? Our interests are represented by members of parliament who have been elected by us from our various constituencies to go represent our constituencies. And that is why absence of an MP in parliament is a very, very big issue. For us at Parliamentary Network Africa, we consider it as an injustice, you know, an infringement on the fundamental rights of citizens if their um, 
representatives or members of parliament fail to make an attendance to parliament i always cite this analogy you know ghana currently has 27 million plus you know citizens uh, by 275 constituencies you know that gives us an average of about a hundred thousand people per constituency or more now what it means then is that these 100,000 people have given their right to speak or their voice to this one individual who must go to parliament to represent them when laws are being made when the executive branch is being overseen and what have you if this one individual does not show up in parliament that is well over 100,000 people losing their voices in parliament and that is why we take very serious exception to the issue of absence in parliament and we think that you know members of parliament who do not show up in parliament must have justifiable reason fortunately the systems in parliament allows you as a member of parliament if you are unable to make it to parliament to provide uh, you know a reason for why you should be excused and that is why the attendance in parliament is marked in a way that shows those who are present those who are absent with permission and then those who are completely absent.